Now, ladies and gentlemen, with the final week of the first CS2 major closing in, so far it's been a very interesting tournament. With North America making it further than anyone originally thought, we also received late stickers that were eventually nerfed from the early editions. But most notably is the notorious bugs and game crashes, which were later edited out of the official broadcast. Now, the last two that I just mentioned, that being game crashes and bugs, is what I want to mainly touch on for today's commentary. Now, the majority of the CS player base, especially people watching today's video, have most likely seen this either on YouTube or maybe they watched it live yesterday of two clips. One of them is just Jamie's infamous game crash while it was tied 11-11 on B-Site Inferno, which was also a post plan. If Jamie didn't crash, I believe they most likely would have won the game if he had stayed alive and maybe even gone further along in the tournament. And the second one I want to mention is the Anubis clip with fame on also Virtus Pro versus G2 Esports. The same circumstances are at play as they were on Inferno, just not match point, where fame had the notorious jump pug on the ledge going up of A-Site Heaven. Now, if he would have won the round if that didn't happen, I'm not sure. But bugs, game crashes, and glitches have arguably costed this team their spot at the major. If they would have gone on to win the tournament, I'm not sure, but it's definitely not a VP curse, it's just the curse of Counter-Strike 2. Today's video, I want to take a closer look at these bugs of what actually happened. I myself am going to try and replicate some of the bugs we saw, for example on Anubis, touch on the game crashing alongside a bunch more. Now today's video sponsor is Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a buying but most notably trading marketplace, that being for your CS2 items. You can trade off your old skins for something new, all you do is log in with Steam, you start a trade, and any cash remaining goes to your available balance on the site. When it comes to trading an item you don't have enough balance for on the site, Skins Monkey Monkey has a large variety of deposit options. By using my code Mando, you can get up to a free $5. And by depositing alongside using my code, you get an additional 35% of a deposit bonus. With Skins Monkey's large variety of skins, they also offer daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways. If interested, the link will be in the top of the description down below. Firstly, for today's video, I want to take a look at Jamie's game crashing on Inferno. It was a 4 versus 4 with VP versus G2. G2 had no util, VP had less HP than G2, but it was a post plant position on B site with some util already down. All they had to do was hide and peak last second and make sure no one was defusing. And then Jamie went into the corner and his game crashed. Instead of pulling a Stewie 2k back at the Boston Major in 2018, Gabe had decided to shut the servers down. All jokes aside, would they have gone on to win the game, maybe not the tournament? In my opinion, for at least the game, they would have most likely won and beat G2. G2 at the time had a pretty rough economy, and their morale overall would have been pretty rough after a round like that. Now a big question amongst players, let alone the tournament organizer, is what caused this? Now one thing I've seen floating around that I believe is just a meme overall, some were saying it was due to a solar storm at that exact moment of this happening, but most likely wasn't the case. But in reality, this was and has been a problem in Counter-Strike 2 ever since its debut over a year ago. I'm not sure if it's a memory leak, a NVIDIA driver problem, a faulty PC part, the player setup, or it's a problem on Valve's end. But for an example, my friends and I play two games a day, five days a week. We have someone crash almost every game. If not, then it's every other game, at least a couple of times. Now, it's almost never in the middle of a round. It's either at the very beginning or the very end as things are loading in. So this seems like it was just a rare occasion. And obviously, there's a lot of different circumstances at hand, playing online and Premiere versus an official server, that also being on LAN. Now, in the last few hours, there's been a lot of controversy surrounding PGL. They have recently come out and said this was due to an NVIDIA driver bug, which yes, this very well could have been the problem, but that's not really the meat and potatoes of why they're receiving all this backlash. That's all coming from them editing this part out of their YouTube stream, which also explains the amount of dislikes on that video. It's quite crazy. Now, even if it was a bug on PGL's end, NVIDIA drivers or CS2, it still doesn't explain the second clip, which shows that CS2 still has work to be done. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the second clip is yet Yet again, Virtus Pro versus G2 on Anubis on the sixth round. VP was on the T side planning for A site. It was a two versus two, and before Fame even had the glitch, it was now a one versus two versus Modesty and Hunter. Now the bug he had was the jump bug going up to A site heaven. Now unlike Inferno, I'm not 100% sure if he would have won this if he was able to get up. He had no utility, but he had full HP and an AK. The smoke was also dissipating that he could have used to go around and flank in, but even then someone could have been watching the back end of things. Now this problem aside, what caused this? Well this time around, I know believe it's PGL's fault. This time around, it was actually on Valve, which I feel like has really stirred up the whole scene. Now, I've gone into a custom game and I've tried to replicate this myself, and it seems like I've gotten some sort of jump bug one out of ten times, but not exactly the exact thing he had going on. From what most people are saying, it's a bug when you jump up to heaven that you pretty much get pushed off, or there's an invisible barrier, and obviously you make a sound when you jump down, even if you're crouching. With that being said, questions have arisen about CS2 not being esports ready. Some of the questions or statements by certain players and individuals in the scene is that CS2 sucks, or CS2 was rushed, which yes, some of that is true, but I think some players are not considering what we had inside CSGO. CSGO wasn't necessarily perfection, it was just 10 years of a game, that being of bug fixes, therefore in theory making it perfect, but it was not. Now a reason of why I think the Anubis clip happened is pretty much all because of Subtick. I think that explains perfectly what happened here, but it's also just the game itself, I know it's kind of confusing. Now going back to day one of Counter-Strike 2, the Subtick system has caused a lot of problems for players. For an example, some of the earlier days if you were to click W to go forward, sometimes it wouldn't register properly.
immediately. If you click spacebar to jump or W to go forward, it would maybe take two or three seconds to register and then you just keep continuously doing it based off of how many times you pressed it. That could have been a problem, but also just the game has a lot of bugs. Now I think with the game, but also the subtick system is what happened here, but also some pros are claiming this has been here for a while, this exact problem. This now begs the question if the game was actually esports ready as players are saying. Now this is all my opinion, you may disagree or agree, leave your comment down below. I think Counter-Strike 2 was esports ready, but to some extent. I think us players, but also Valve had to have known something like this was going to happen. It just sucks it happened at the very first CS2 Major, one in the same match, but also in a match that could have kept them alive in the tournament if they, especially they had won that Inferno game. I think some people are forgetting bugs like this used to happen all the time inside CSGO, but after 10 years of fixes, it was very rare. And then going back to the problem of crashing, this was also a problem we had quite frequently in CS Pro history, but it was almost 99% of the time not on Valve's end, it was actually the tournament organizers with faulty bad drivers or bad PCs. Now I made a commentary around three months ago talking about how if CS2 will be esports ready in time for the first major, that being that the one that's played right now. And the main consensus of the video was CS2 was going to have problems, such as Anubis or other game crashing issues. Now, I didn't say those exact problems, mainly the one with Anubis, but it's just the fact that the game is new. Us players and also Valve haven't had time to find out these new types of problems. And Valve, when they tend to fix or update the game, especially the early days of Counter-Strike 2, they usually break more than they can fix, which also explains why Valve haven't fixed this Anubis bug mid-tournament. Now, right when these things were happening, the biggest criticism for the players is the classic. Valve is a multi-billion dollar company who can't even fix their game. What do you guys think of both these situations down below? Do you think it's the tournament organizer's fault? Is it Counter-Strike? I'll let y'all decide. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay positive, stay sexy. I'm out, guys. Peace.